everyone. Welcome back to Addicted to Cricut. Today are we are going to learn something new about Cricut Design Space. We're going to talk about the advanced options that are within Cricut Design Space. And if you don't know where it is, it's kind of hard to find. But I'm going to show you, excuse me, <clears throat> where it is, what it's for, what it does, and why you're really going to like it. So let's just get started, okay? First of all, this on the right hand side is my original image, but I really wanted to cut my grandson out of there. I didn't want all that background. So by using um, the advanced options in the Cricut Design Space, I was able to, cr to take out the whole background. Matter of fact, this is just there so you can see him a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to do that. Let's get a new surface here. So first we're going to start, I'm going to take you to where the advanced options is, okay? But you have to follow these steps to get there first. And then we're going to learn about color tolerance and reduced color. Those are the two options that were, are within the advanced options tab. We're going to go to upload first. We're going to go to upload our image and then we're going to click browse. And I know where mine is and I actually even know what it's called. And so I'm going to click on it and it's going to open. And I know you guys are familiar with this because if you upload any images at all that aren't SVGs, you get this. I always press complex. We're going to go on through. And I know you're familiar with this too, but if you look over here on the left hand side, there is your advanced options. And many of you don't realize that those are two things, two options that you could be using to make your work a little bit easier. So first of all, let's talk about the how to, to reduce colors, reduce colors. And what's that about? If you, um, right now it's unmodified. So I guess it's just whatever colors are in the picture, which we know that there are a ton of colors in this picture. But if we set it on something else, like 16 colors or two colors, it makes a big difference. By setting it on two colors, it's simplifying the image. I don't know how many colors are in here now. If I set it to 16, let's see if it, I don't think, it does change the picture because the picture must have many, many more than 16 colors. Um, and we could leave it here, except for if I change it to two, well, let's just say four, Look how the picture changes now. Now, if I want to take out all that background, I can pick and choose what colors I want. I have a little bit more control, okay? Because if we left these on what they were, okay, and we didn't choose the advanced options at all, and we're just using these three tools, the magic wand, the eraser, and the crop, I can use that magic wand and I can start clicking in my image to get rid of the background. Well, as you can see, this may take a long time because there are a ton of colors, okay? We don't really want to do that. We don't want to spend that much time. So let's go back to the original image, back, back, back. This is my back button, back, back, back. Okay, so let's go to the reduced colors again. Let's go to four colors, okay? Now we can see that that changes this picture. Now when I click on one part, look how much it erases, okay? And then I can choose another one. And as you're choosing these, watch and see what's happening to your image that you want to keep. You want to keep. I want to keep my grandson intact. But sometimes when I click a color, it might take out more than I want. So far I'm not seeing that. It's doing pretty good. Okay. And you can just keep clicking. And then a lot of this you can clean up with um, this uh, magic eraser up here. You can make it bigger or you can make it smaller, which is nice. And then you can just come through and erase it like a chalkboard eraser. Okay. Now let's go back here. So, um, let's see if I can undo all that I just did and we'll try it with a few higher numbers. Okay. I think we're back. 
First of all, let's go to two, first of all. Two really takes it down to the basic, basic. I don't necessarily want to do that because if I click on this green right here, some of his face goes away. You see that right there? I don't want that. So I'm going to go back. So that's why I kind of set it to, no, it's not going to let me. I set it to like a four or a nine. Even a nine gives me a little bit more area to play with, okay? And then I can start choosing some colors. So that's excellent when you have an image, whoops, go back, that you need to, to really zoom in on. And remember too, when you're getting some of these really tiny ones to zoom in, you can zoom in as far as you want, and then you can see all these tiny little areas that you need to get. Let's zoom out again. Now let's go and look at, I'm going to take this back to unmodified and we're going to look at the color tolerance. The color tolerance is always set at 16. Um, I guess they assume that's the best color. What the color tolerance does is that the, the um, get this right, the higher number means the greater number of similar colors will be included and erased. The lower the number means the fewer colors will be selected and removed. So let's just try it, okay? Right now it's 16. Let's, let's try a really small number like 10 and see what it does. Doesn't change the picture, but let's see. Okay, it's taking out quite a bit, which is okay, not great. Look how much I'm having to really kind of click around in there. Okay, let's go back, get back to our original image. And let's click 100. Now let's see. Wow, I think that was a little too much. Let's try 65. See, that's too much too. It erased part of his body and part of his drum, so that's too much. Let's try 45, 42. That's not bad. Okay, that looks good. For me, up oh, there went his face. That didn't do good. So let's go back to the original picture again. And for me, the number that I found was good was 35. It kind of took away what I needed to take away, and it didn't erase him. So this is really like a trial thing, okay? If you are really working with some small, delicate things, these advanced features, the reduced colors and the, the color tolerance will help you, will be your friend in helping you make sure that you are erasing things that you want to erase without making a big mess, because sometimes it makes a big mess. So once you're all done with this, you'll go ahead and continue and you'll either save it as a print and cut or a print. I, of course, save mine as a print and cut because I am not going to use it um, in that section. So here's mine again. And I can use him on any backdrop. I can put something behind him. I can do whatever. Isn't he cute? He's a teenager now, so he's not nearly as cute. I mean, we love him dearly, but oh, he was so cute in this. Anyway, practice this. Don't let this knowledge leak out of your head now that you know it without using it. So go and try it out. Write it down. Take notes. Um, I have in my blog what each of them mean. Maybe put that into a note area for yourself so you'll know. Okay, go and have a happy crafting day.